All right, today we're installing uh, skins, airframe, running boards onto a Polaris Pro chassis, um, cordless drill, 3 16 drill bit. We're going to start by drilling out the rivets along the rail here. And then there's three here in the back that we're going to drill out as well. This front rivet up here, you're never going to get a drill into, so use a die grinder to grind the top of the rivet off. Uh, you're not going to reuse the board anyway, so. screw we got to remove T40 you got these two nuts in the back holding the rail on and you remove those Okay, here on the front, the back rail is free. The front of the rail, we've got the same thing, 10 millimeter uh, wrench here. Do it the correct direction. Now the board, the rail should come free. Maybe a little while. Stock rail, don't need it anymore. Okay, there's only one rivet we gotta take out underneath the sled here, holding the belly pan to the, the board. Next we've got two rivets here in the foot wall area that need to be removed. You need to drill them out from the inside in the clutch area. Okay, the instructions state to you to leave three quarters of an inch from this surface out three quarters of an inch this way. On the Pro, what ends up happening is you end up leaving this lip here. So what we did is it actually works better if you cut to the inside of this edge so it's not quite three quarters of an inch. There's plenty of material left over to rivet to. Um, so I did make a mark here at three quarters, but if you look here, which you probably can't read on the video, but that edge is about, mm, 9 sixteenths so that's how I did it and it, and it does work so um, use your own discretion
Okay, so when you get to the back side here, you're gonna notice this bracket here for the rear suspension. You're not, you obviously don't wanna cut through this. So start your cut to the front, cut forward, and you'll see what we're gonna do to finish the cut across that bracket, but don't cut through this bracket. Okay, so on the other side of this bracket, you're gonna end up back here. Now, I did use a straight edge on the other side. It didn't really end up following it anyway, so I'm doing it freehand. That, that should be your cut line all the way down, obviously not here, all the way down to the front. Okay, there's numerous ways you can cut the boards. You can use an air saw, which in my opinion probably works the best. You can use a die grinder. Um, you can try other means of doing this, but a die grinder or air saw probably works the best. Nibbler would work, um, but we're using air saw. We're gonna start, I made a mark here to remind myself that there's a bracket here that I don't wanna cut through. So I made a mark, so I'm gonna start cutting into this window back towards the front of the sled. here making a line don't cut through it just score it because once we're done we'll be able to take this whole board and just back and forth until it breaks off some sort of sanding device, clean up the edge, any sharp edges, any high spots take down um, so that when you put the new board on it sits flat. I just like to clean up the bottom and the top, make get rid of all the burrs. Yeah. 